So, that's uh, not really a great story, is it? Can you talk to the island's other specters? No, I'm alone here. The others, they flee when they see me. I know not why. You do not fear me, do you? No. Used to dealing with ghosts. Though, gotta admit, there's something about you. You're different. Yeah, and that might be part of the problem. You weren't the last to die on this island. Found a fresh corpse in the tower. The island's a dangerous place. Folks should not venture here. I too wish to leave. The dead man looked like a monster had attacked him recently. The tower home to anything else? How am I to know? There's lots of wraiths here. I, I, I hear them whispering every night. Not talking about ghosts. A monster who hunts here. You must have noticed something. I don't know. I've noticed naught. Why do you ask? Why must you press me so? You're to be my savior, not my tormentor. So, it all sounds a bit weird. She mentioned, she reacted very calmly when we said there was something else on the prowl in the tower. But how can we help you? How can I help you? A curse born of hatred binds me to this place. Only love's power can hope to lift it. But who could love a race? And your beloved, he dead too? Graham? No, he lives. I would know if he died. But he fled and abandoned me. Left me here all alone. Maybe you could strip the curse of its power by forgiving him. You might cleanse the isle. So tell me about the man. Your beloved. Who is he? A noble son? No, a poor fisherman. My father objected. Strongly. He did not see us together. I miss him so. Each night I walk to the island shore to gaze upon the village. Does he remember me still? Hmm. Said before you can't leave the tower. Did I? You must have misheard. I don't think so. No, we didn't. I... I don't know anymore. It's all a nightmare to me. So we caught her on her first lie. Indicating that there is something fishy about her. As I see it, you're the curse's focus. The other ghosts on the island, their auras aren't nearly as strong as yours. My medallion started pulsating as soon as we started talking. I don't know what you mean, but you do seem to know some things. You could be right. My fate is tied to the Isle, I feel that. Perhaps because I am heiress of these lands. It could be your blood ties to the land. The base of the curse, that is. If so, forgiving Graham. Laying your resentment to rest should lift it. I... loved him. I'm prepared to forgive him. But I must know that he regrets what he did. Take my bones to him. He must bury them. This will be our farewell. Will you speak to him? Will you do this for me? So this is quite a big decision actually for this quest. Kinda dictates where it will go. So if you agree, we should be taking the bones of Annabelle to uh, Graham on the, the coast. But we'll not be doing that, as you'll notice in a second, because we have been... Uh, Suspecting there's something wrong with her, so... Really sad story, but something's not right. Got a feeling. What is it? You're not telling me everything. You know the island's dangerous, but refuse to tell me about the monster that lives here. There is no monster. Hmm. So yeah, we got a feeling that she might be lying, that's true. I think you're lying. Question is, why? To protect the beast? Or is it that... Stop! I will not hear this! I can't help you. Taking anything off this cursed island, from any cursed place, just too dangerous. And a dead woman's bones, that's asking for trouble. They said witches are heartless beasts. Will you bring Graham here then? I so long to say goodbye. Annabelle, listen. You never wish to help me, and here I have someone would finally take pity on me. And there we go. She turns into that 
Dang, okay, crap, crap, crap. This is annoying. This is annoying. This is incredibly cramped. So I'm gonna need Erden here. So, she can only be harmed when inside Erden. So, she's started to run off. Can't leave this fucking place unless the rats are dead. Uh. So now we gotta chase after her. She is apparently. Did she just receive fall damage, or what the fuck was that? She's a ghost! Okay, stuck on the table. I'm back outside. Almost. Okay, well, we were closer than that. And through the door! Come over here, bitch. So I am going to uh, apply some Spectre Oil again. Okay, and my sword goes again. So, she leaves behind uh, clouds of bees that you need to dispatch if you want to kill her. And I think she can only be hit effectively when... Uh, Yeah, when uh, Erden is up, I'm going to try and put her in that again. There she goes. No, we didn't. How to fight a pester. A pester? And did you learn how to lift the curse before you lunged at her sword in hand? Yeah, we talked a bit. Looks like I need to get her beloved to the island. Fisherman named Graham. I know the man. He lives in Oriton, village on the lakeshore. Find him immediately. We're close to unraveling this. I can feel it. So first, instead of going uh, straight to Graham, I'm gonna check out the laboratory because I didn't have the chance to do that. So see you in a second. So you might have noticed that she uh, she was called a pasta. Not just a simple wraith, and pastas are wraiths that are uh, based on diseases. So, uh, going along with the team. So, it's a bit more decoctions. Experimenting on humans. Never would have gotten away with it if the Conclave were still in charge. Because we're gonna need these uh, little tidbits of Bax information. To question Kira later on. So there's Alexander's Log, part one. I'm gonna show you that in a second. More crafting materials. A potion vial. And there should be something upstairs as well. So we're at the broken part of the tower and there's still a little room here. Kept in there until the end. What a shitty way to die. I don't see what you're looking at. Oh yeah, 
These were uh, other experiments of uh, Mr. Alexander. So yeah, he was doing human trials, and as Geralt just mentioned, that's not allowed, even in the world of the Witcher. So, let's head back outside. Okay, so what we need to do now is go to Graham and find out his side of the story and what actually happened. Mainly what happened with Annabelle, because that's the biggest part of the problem. If we check out the map, we can see that Graham's cottage is pretty close to where we've already been. So I'm gonna fast travel to Wastrel Manor and use Roach to get to him quicker than when I would be using the boat. So after a short boat, uh, boat ride, horse ride, we're already at uh, the shack. There's already a couple of people harassing the man. What the hell is he doing? Oh, he must have been afraid of the punch I threw behind the wall. Okay. Let's I see Graham. Talk. You death, damn it! I told you! Who are you? I'm a witcher. I'm a witcher. What of it? Why should I care? I've been to the island. I know what happened there. And that piqued his interest. What do you want of me? This is Graham. I want to talk to you about Annabelle. Annabelle? What can you know about her? I met her. Talked to her. Annabelle's dead. Drank poison. And I... Oh, he couldn't save her. Well, dude, it's worse than that. Did you love her? Oi. Oh, something mad. Loved her so deep I believed we'd come through, believed we'd be together. Of course, it was not to her father's liking. His daughter and a plain lout. So, and what did you do in response then? What happened on Fike Isle? You gotta tell me. Where Millie, Finch, and Faulkner, they rallied the men, all roughs, to go to the Isle, take back what was ours from the noble. They knew I was known at the tower, that the Lord's servants would open the gate for me as soon as I sold them fish. They forced you to go with them? No, I... I saw my chance in it, for Annabelle and me to flee. But... it all spun in a chaos. Our boys from the village, they started killing everyone. Annabelle, they wanted to rape. Twas then she drank the poison. Mage must have gave her. I ran out the tower, hollering that I wanted to die, cursing them all to hell. Don't force me to speak of it. No more, please. Cursing them all to hell. Said you were hollering as you fled the tower, the island. What exactly did you say? I don't remember. I wanted them to pay for what they'd done to her. Might have cursed them. There's a powerful magic aura on Fike Isle. Passions, evil intent, strong emotions of any kind can activate it. Your words could be the curse's source. She took the poison because of them. Well, sorry, dude, but... What was even worse than that? It wasn't poison. Annabelle drank a strong sleeping potion. Mage wanted to protect her, make it look like she was dead. Convinced everyone. That means... Is she... Nope. You said you spoke to her. Spoke nope. to her ghost. By the time she awoke, Tower was full of cold corpses. And rats. She was warm meat. Rats ate her alive. You mean... She was alive the whole time. Yep. But... Oh, it can't be. She was cold all through like a corpse. I shook her, begged to open your eyes. I never thought... Yeah. It's not your fault. No guilt in not knowing. And you couldn't know it wasn't poison she drank. Gods, what have I done? If I had stayed behind to bury her, I'd have noticed she was alive. It might have ended different, ended well. 
If you'd stayed on the island, I doubt you'd have survived. I'd take death over leaving her to the rats like that. <sighs> but there's naught I can do about it now. Wrong on that count. So, you can still help her. Annabelle needs you. You can help her. She's still there. In the tower. Can I see her? Yeah. One thing you should know, though. In death, Annabelle turned into a pesta. A pester? What's that? No, no. More a than star. a restless ghost. A plague maiden. A powerful wraith filled with grief and hatred that drive her. Give her the power to sow disease and death. She suffers. How am I to help her? Gods know I'm willing. So she thinks you've left her to her fate. Annabelle thinks you abandoned her. Gods! She hates me. And all this time she's thought I ran, abandoned her. Yes, go to the tower, talk to her. Maybe you can convince her that's not how it was. I thought she died. I'd never have left her there otherwise. A curse has imprisoned Annabelle and the other spirits on the island. Love can shatter its power, free her and them. Just as in the legends. If you know the legends, you know one kiss is enough to break an evil spell. On one condition. That it's a kiss from someone whose love is true. I told He's got you. a kiss, Dad. I, I love her with all my heart. Take me to her, please. It's dangerous. There are risks involved. Understand that, don't you? Of course. I'm no coward. I'll not run this time. Okay. Let's go. Nothing. Let's go. I'm ready. Let's go to the tower. So, we're immediately warped here. So, and again we go to the top of the tower. Then that three times. Okay, never mind. My wing is long enough for revenge. And now he comes to us on his own. Apparently, the ghost of Alexander doesn't Last like us being here. here. I still hoped Annabelle and me it weren't impossible. We could have been together, and now she's dead. And it's my fault. If only I'd been able to protect her. Can't change the past, but you can still help Annabelle to move on, to rest in peace. It's terrifying here. It's too quiet. Chop, chop. Speed up. Let's get this over with. I remember the screams. Inhuman they were. Now it's silent. They're dead. All dead. Ooh, this wouldn't be a fun floor to be fighting on. Don't think about that. Keep walking. So we're nearing the laboratory. Almost at the top floor. Apparently no more raids anymore. And there we go. You have not forgotten. You've returned for me. It, it's, it's yep, that. that's her. It's me, Annabelle. The one you abandoned, remember? Even her voice changed. I was sure you was dead. If I'd known otherwise, I'd never have left you. I'd do anything for you. I would. You know that well. Believe me, I beg you. Prove it. Oh, God. Kiss me. How the fuck do you even Grand kiss that? Careful. Ugh. Uh, Good luck, boy. Yes. Oh, God, how the how the huh? okay. Never mind. 
That was worth the shot. And kissing a pasta doesn't go easy. At last. They are together. The curse is lifted, and Graham and Annabella are reunited. So believe it or not, this is the good ending of this quest, because if you bring the bones of Annabelle straight to Graham, she will emerge as a passenger there for the first time and kill him immediately. This way, the curse is lifted and they're reunited as lovers. So, that's another quest done. I'm gonna quickly uh, notify Kira that we've completed everything here and lifted the curse. But first I'm going to quickly show you the excerpts from uh, Alexander's research which we have right here. My experiments continue to re return results I must consider unreliable. Methodological errors are not at fault. The problem lies in the shoddy and fallible research material I am forced to work with. Despite his prior assurance, Zerat is unable to provide me with enough moderately healthy specimens for my tests. Most of the material is starved and terrified, having been dragged here straight from the dungeon. I waste a great deal of time daily washing and delousing them before I will so much as let them step foot into my laboratory. Sterility first. As Marty Sodergren managed to prove in their little known work, the attitude of a patient undergoing treatment can have a significant impact on the battle against the disease. Unfortunately, the volunteers with which I am supplied do not show sufficient comprehension, let alone enthusiasm, for the noble work in which they are taking part. Well, I wonder how that comes. In fact, it seems they consider the research part of their punishment. How would that be? I have tried a few times, though I am but a poor speaker, to convince them that they are contributing to the er eradication of one of the greatest plagues tormenting mankind. I had a distinct impression they understood little, but perhaps their stupor was merely the result of the early stages of the illness. Of course, it is impossible to achieve success without significant sacrifices. The overwhelming majority of them will have to lay down their trifling lives on the altar of learning. But that is a sacrifice I am willing to make. So he's a very unethical scientist even, mage. He also mentions that uh, he's trying to cure, uh, find a cure for uh, a very annoying plague, a very deadly plague. Uh, it's even implied if you have the other ending of this quest where uh, Annabelle the Pesta kills Graham immediately when we take the bones to him. Uh, that she runs loose and uh, releases a, a, an even worse plague on the world. So we uh, might have been uh, doing the best thing here. So, let's head back to Kira. And tell her all about what we have done. So, back at Kira's house. And she, let's see what she can give us as a reward. And I should close this. Can I close this? I can't close this. Okay. Geralt, just when I was starting to miss you. Ooh, we've missed you too. Tell me more about this mage from the Isle. Were you two close? Never expected you'd take such an interest in my private life. More interested to know if you bonded as fellow magic practitioners. Well, we had little in common in that arena. Oh, Alexander was one of those anxious experimenters, forever short on sleep. The kind that thinks perfect happiness is an isolated tower and a full set of vials and alembics. So, that's indeed what we have seen. We lifted the curse, Kira. Fike Isles free of its curse. Able to persuade Graham to go to the tower with you? Did you mention there was a pester involved? He knew the risks, but he'd also heard lots of stories about true love, whose kiss can break any spell. Can't help thinking that gave him courage. And? It ended well? Depends how you look at it. Curse is lifted, Annabelle's spirit is left in peace. But Graham's dead. Oh, poor boy. Still, 
He's proved that true love may be more common than some suppose. Yes, indeed. One thing's bothering me. What? Annabelle said Alexander was studying diseases. She mentioned Catriona. You knew this? All the mages knew about it. Alexander was a highly regarded epidemiologist. I would have given anything for an opportunity to study his notes, but he guarded them jealously. Okay, so what do you want to do with the lamp we used? The lamp? What do you want to do with it? As I said, you may keep it. I don't believe I shall need it anymore given the aisle's been cleansed. I actually regret not going there with you. Perhaps we can make up for that lost time now. Ooh. All right. Time I was on my way. Perhaps... Perhaps you'd stay just a bit longer? There's one small favor you might yet do for me. What of is it? Of course we I will. I put in an order for a few substances from Novigrad. The trader was due to be here yesterday, but has yet to arrive. Could you see what happened? The package is rather important to me. So, of course we'll do that. Why not? If he was coming here from Novigrad, he must have passed through Black Bow. I'll check the area. Oh, thank you. I shall be ever so grateful. Ta-da! That concludes the quest. A tower full of mice. And then the next quest is a favor for a friend. But that will be a quest for the next video. So in the next video we'll be heading in the direction of Novigrad, not in exactly towards the capital yet, but we'll try to find the missing packages from Kira. So next time, a favor for a friend. Thank you guys enormously for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more. And I hope to see you in the next video stream. Goodbye!